Good day, Grade 3 Scientists! Welcome to our lesson for Science 3, Quarter 1, Week 8, Day 1. Our topic for today is Science in Our Daily Life, Properties of and Uses of Iron. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you! Objective by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to identify the properties of iron and its uses in the local community. Activating prior knowledge. Let's review. What objects around us are made of metals? Today, we will talk about metals. Metals are special materials. They are usually shiny, strong, and do not break easily. Let's take a look at the pictures. For picture number one, a pot. Have you seen this object before? Yes, I have seen it in the kitchen. What do you think it is made of? It is made of metal. Why do you think it is made from that material? Because metal can hold heat and is strong for cooking. Picture 2. Bicycle. Have you seen this object before? Yes, I see bicycles on the road or in our yard. What do you think it is made of? It's made of metal. Why do you think it is made from that material? Because metal is strong and can carry people's weight. Picture 3. A spoon. Have you seen this object before? Yes, I use it when eating. What do you think it is made of? It's made of metal. Why do you think it is made from that material? Because metal is safe for food and does not break easily. This week, we will learn more about metals, their properties and uses. Let's start with a metal called iron. Lesson Purpose Intention Today, our lesson will answer the question, What are the properties and uses of iron in my community? We will not answer it just yet. By the end of our lesson, you will be able to tell me the answer. For Lesson Language Practice Abundance it is very common and easy to find or plentiful. Rare, not common, and difficult to find. Reading the key idea stem. Activity 1. What are the properties and uses of iron? This activity is for 10 minutes. For our preparation, we must have metal spoon, as many as possible, paper clips, remove any plastic coverings, New generation points, iron nail and screw. Optional for more iron objects if available. Now, we will do our first activity for today. What are the properties and uses of iron? First, copy the table. On a clean sheet of paper, copy the table from the activity sheet. This will be your answer sheet. The table has the same question as our guide questions. Number 2. Observe the objects. Here are some things made of iron. Let's pass them around so everyone can touch, hold, and look at each one. Number 3. Answer the questions. On your answer sheet, write your answers for each object. Use the guide questions in the table. Here are the possible answers. For object number 1, which is a metal spoon, what does the object look like? It is shiny, smooth, and silver in color. What does it feel like? It feels smooth, cool, and hard. What can you do with it? I can use it for eating or serving food. For object number 2, a paper clip, 
What does the object look like? It is small, thin, and silver or colored. What does it feel like? It feels smooth, cool, and bendable. What can you do with it? I can use it to hold papers together. Object number three. Point. What does the object look like? It is round, flat, and shiny. What does it feel like? It feels smooth, cool, and solid. What can you do with it? I can use it to buy things. Object 4. Iron nail. What does the object look like? It is long, thin, and pointed at one end. What does it feel like? It feels smooth, cool, and hard. What can you do with it? I can use it to join pieces of wood. Object 5. Iron screw. What does the object look like? It is short, has ridges, and a pointed tip. What does it feel like? It feels rough on the sides, cool and hard. What can you do with it? I can use it to fasten or attach things. Developing understanding of the key idea stem. Let's process the activity. Now, we will look closely at each object and answer our guide questions together. For object number one, the properties are it is shiny, smooth, silver in color, cool, and hard. That is a metal spoon. We can use it for eating or serving food. How properties help? Because it is hard, it can scoop food without breaking. Its smooth surface make it safe to put it in our mouth. For object number two, a paper clip. Properties, it is small, thick, bendable, and smooth. Its uses, we use it to hold papers together. How properties help? Because it is bendable, it can grip papers tightly. Its smooth surface prevents tearing the paper. Object 3. Coin. Properties. It is hard, flat, shiny, solid, and smooth. Its uses, we use it to pay for things. How properties help? Because it is solid and strong, it lasts a long time, even if handled many times. Object 4. The Iron Nail. Properties. It is long, thin, hard, and pointed at one end. Its uses, we use it to join pieces of wood. How properties help? Because it is strong and pointed, it can go through wood and hold it together. Object 5. The Iron Screw. Properties, it is short, has spiral ridges, hard and pointed. We use it to fasten or attach things securely. How properties help? The ridges help it grip tightly and strength keeps object firmly attached. In short, we can describe iron as a metal that is hard, strong, and abundant. Deepening understanding of the key idea stem. Now, Let's think of other objects in our community that are made of iron. Can you name some? Here are the possible answers. Utensils, pans, knives, cars, bicycles, gates, appliances, tools, playground. What are these objects used for? They are used for cooking, cutting food, transportation, protecting houses, fixing things. Because iron is hard and strong and abundant, we find it useful in many ways, especially for things that need to be tough and long-lasting, making generalization. Before we end, let's recall what we learned. Can you describe the properties of iron that we have discussed? Correct! Iron is hard, strong, and abundant. 
Can you describe the use of or uses of iron? That's right. Iron has many uses, from small objects like paper clips to big structures like tall buildings. Because iron is hard, strong, and easy to find, it is used in so many things we see every day. For our evaluation, Direction. Write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. Here are the correct answers. Great job today everyone! You listen well, share your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to read, learn, observe, and have fun. See you next time!